Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, we'll be discussing why you should consider um, getting an alternative air source, or AKA the pony cylinder for when you're diving. Now, have you ever been in a situation uh, where you've been on a, a boat charter or diving with one of your buddies? You've done your buddy checks, you've got your dive plan, and then you sort of jump in the water or enter the water, and then within minutes, within the first minute of the dives, or during the dive, you look around and you've basically lost your buddy or he's probably about 10 meters away from you looking at some interest in marine life. And just imagine you've had a, an issue with either, for example, you run out of air, which you should never be, or there's something wrong with your regulators. Now, can you imagine getting back to that dive buddy um, in one breath? Also, having an alternative air source is ideal if you're especially considering doing a solo dive. It's a backup. Um, if anything happens to your setup, your rig and your regulators. So what I'm going to discuss is just show you um, the pony itself, um, different ways to attach the pony and the pros and cons of actually um, having a pony for yourself. So here's the pony itself. This one's made out of steel. It's a bit of a weight to it. As you can see, it's got its first stage and the second stage. Now some people have uh, the SPG on the long hose. I prefer it with a small, like, you call it like a button SPG attached to this. So less entanglement, because you've got enough hoses on your BCD yourself. Now attached, there's different methods of attaching the, uh, the pony um, to yourself or to the BCD. Now on here I've got a bracket, which is a quick release bracket. It attaches via a cumber band. Um, there's different makes and models of uh, quick releases for your pony, but it's just simple. Just attaches like so, it's clipped, and then after the dive, um, like you come off a boat and you need to change your cylinder, it's a quick release, quick release like that, and change your cylinder. I so said there's different types of quick release. This is one from Northern Diver, same sort of principle, um, it's like a pinch clip, comes away, or we can have a method, you've got a bag. Cylinder obviously goes in the bag here and it's attached with a cumber band and all you have to do after the dive is just lift it out, it's just secured with a pull string and you just lift it out after the dive. Another method is to get, uh, you can get straps, two straps on the pony with D-rings and you attach them to your BCD uh, with boat snaps. Uh, I've seen some people have it across or under the arm as such, and you can also have a strap, seen someone with a strap that goes around the neck um, uh, as well. So you could try that method as well if you want to. So by you having a pony, it gives you that sort of comfort as well. Um, again, you probably can be more relaxed in the dive knowing that if you have lost your buddy or he's elsewhere, you've got this as a backup if that fails. And also if you ever consider a solo diver, it's highly recommended not just dive on one of these you just need an alternative air source as a backup so this is a hand of it kit obviously if this fails you, you're by yourself there's no one to back you up and of course if you need to use this it's a case of that's it your dive's over and I start to ascend now the pros and cons um, the pros for me is definitely the, the, the alternative sort of buddy um, um, having a, a pony like this um, Again, it's that, as I said before, it's that reinsurance as well. Uh, you've got that backup air. Um, downside, it's the weight. You, um, with steel cylinders and special dry suit diving, you've got this steel cylinder, 15 litres, and you've got your extra weight. So it's a, a nest of steel as well. So it's quite a lot of weight on your back. Um, of course, there's a cost for an extra cylinder that has to be serviced every so many years. You've got a new set of um, first and second stage that's got to be uh, surfaced as well. But if you can look over, see that, the, I think in the case of any emergencies underwater, you, you can't put a uh, price on safety, that's for sure. So just to recap, the reason why you should consider getting uh, an alternative air source or a pony. Um, one, it's self-reliant, it's that self-reassurance. Uh, uh, probably a bit more relaxed underwater knowing that you've got a backup if anything goes wrong. You've got a dive buddy that is not close to you, that who, how it should be or you're on boat charters and you've, you've paired up with someone you've never dived before. Um, so that again, it's like reassurance as well. Now me personally, I bought this for the boat charters. 
Um, when I dive with my dive buddies, we don't have an issue. We know where each other is and we stick together. The alternative you could buy is, is twins, but again, that's more expense and that's more weight. Um, you could consider getting that, but for me, for just now, this does the job. So if you found this useful or if I've missed anything, please put it down in the comments below. Uh, I don't think I have. Um, and again, if you've got any thoughts, uh, if you have a, a pony, you think it's uh, a bit of a waste of time and money, I would be quite interested to know your thoughts as well. And also guys, I uh, would be appreciate if you like my content. I've got lots of other videos on my channel. Um, I recently came back from Malta which, for a week and that was that was pretty nice. That was really good. Really enjoy that. So check that video out. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.